What is going on, you guys? Bastion Wise, you're here, and today I'm back with my boy Rob. Say hi to the nice people at home, Rob. Hello, people at home. How you been, my Hello. man? I'm good. Final stretch, graduating college. So, there you know. go. My boy's yeah, graduating, we're getting that paper degree. Very nice, my yeah, man. Congratulations. Yeah, it's, it's almost here. Yeah, but it's also like the same two week period of the YCS that I'm going to be going to. So, like, that that's not fun, especially when your band list kills you back. RIP, Frank is meow meow. You will be. I, it's fine. You got this deck now. Best deck of the <laughs> format by far, right? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Um, <laughs> I think the Therian engine is like super solid. So this mm -hmm. is ABC Therian. I really, so as long standing viewers of the channel know, one of the earliest decks of the month is ABC, was Brilliant Fusion, Distrudo, ABC. So I thought this would be pretty fitting to do like a couple of years later. Way um, back. The Therian cards just work really well with the ABC cards. Because it basically makes all your ABCs a uh, monster. It's pretty much a monster born for your ABCs, and you get a negate. So, like, I think it's really good. And like Buster being able to link climb, or Buster when you tribute it being able to link climb is completely broken. But yeah, so we're just gonna get into the, ec the main deck really quickly. Ooh. Yeah, man, let's do it. Yeah, so we have two A, three B, two C. I feel like this is the most standard like ABC ratio ever. Um, you can link for two B because I'm playing like forty five. But like B is the best one standalone to like C. Because mm. if you link with it, then you search your follow up. So, like, and you they're can not once like per turn, right? They are not one. None of their effects are once per turn. I think maybe like the re equip is. Um, they're just double checking. Mm. So, like, once per turn, you can equip or special. So, like, that's a uh, thing, but that's a uh, per card. So, like, if you summon another one or you re equip again, you can just try to pull a special. 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 <laughs> like, these, these cards are so free. So, mm. these are all like, so this is the add back. This is the search. This is uh, summon from hand. Mm -hmm. It's like, this, this is like super standard. And the new the newish guy is a union driver. He was an insanity code. He didn't really see a lot. So basically, um, you equip him off hanger and you can banish him to equip any of your pieces mm. to um to the other piece. So the reason that's important is because um so the pieces you can't when you equip them off hanger, you can't summon them the same turn. However, if you equip them off union driver, you can. So like that this is why he's really good. But the thing is he's a brick, you don't really really draw him. So that's why I play two, it's just a safety thing. Mm -hmm. uh, re I realistically, ideally, I play one. I am scared of drawing brick cards. Gotcha. You play Desires in the deck as well, or? No, we play the other pot of Bob Pot. I play Prosperity in the list. Oh, gotcha. Um, gotcha. Boxman that point gets Prosperity. And then three of the new guy, Regulus. Nice. So pretty much, you can target a machine in your grave, you uh, you special him, and then equip. So the reason that's really important is because that plays around DD Current Call By. It's so, like they have to preemptively, they would have to preemptively banish your stuff so you can't have to target otherwise he's very cool special uh target special this and at least i have the guaranteed gate he's also a machine if you choose to play cards like uh cliff or genius or if you choose to play like platinum or when you put play Captain on gadget like mm -hmm. if you draw the brave cards you can just like use him but he's just 28 he's really big and he's an awesome and then i also just to pair with him mm -hmm. like he i also play two of the field spell um i didn't maximize on this because like drawing too many Ethereum cards in this deck is like, really bad um so I just played the two of this. This is pretty much when you activate it. It's a light stage. It searches on activation. And then if a monster will be destroyed by battle, uh, or if a monster, uh, yeah, I can send a Therian card or an endless machine, and the Quakimiru uh, Guardian, not the Quakimiru, right? The Iron Core Quakimiru that acts the engine system Argo to protect it. Mm -hmm. And then if you kill a monster, you get to, or if a monster is destroyed by battle, so including your opponents, you get to special, you get to target Therian and add it to it's like there's cool plays where you can like crash Ethereum, uh, send another, and then kill another monster, and then add, add a card back. So it's pretty much like a pseudo, it's like foolish on a robot. This card's actually not that bad to have up. Yeah, no, that's pretty good. Yeah, and then I, the the best cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, the three one, and then the new guy, uh, Legal Knight. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, he is target up to two cards your opponent controls. Or right, so he's the same thing as Griffin. If you have token, you special. And then you can target up to two cards your opponent controls, bounce them to hand, and then give it this to him. So like, when you're playing against Despia, this lets you ban uh, bounce the the mirror jade, so that way they don't get the the kill during the end phase. And then like, what's also cool is you can just like special it, kill it to them, and then you bust it and banish him. Or you can also just Draco back ba uh, bounce it to your hand. It's mm -hmm. really good. And then Griffin's like Griffin the Omni Gate, and like, just, like I'm really surprised though, like nothing from this, end, but like or limited or semi limited, but. Mm. I'm still very happy because I'm going to get to play these <laughs> Nice. Uh, 
and then the only hand trap in the main deck was Arch. Um, if I draw any, if I'm playing any deck this one, I'm, the only hand trap I really want in hand every single time is Arch. When mm -hmm. I play against Despia, when I play against Sword Soul, when I play against Thunder, when I play against uh, any Therian deck, when I play against any Halco deck, I just want this card in my hand. Mm -hmm. So like, this, this card is the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh right now, and uh, this card should be it's in every deck. Like, I'll, I'll make Moki Moki Turbo with this card. This card is just crazy. I'm gonna hold you to that. And you know that. I, uh, one day, one day, I'm, when the new Moki Moki support, I'm gonna play it for you. Yeah, I bet. All right, and so the for the field spells, so like the so this isn't a field spell, but Hanger, when you activate it, you add a light union mount, light machine union, so pretty much gets A, B, or C. And then if you normal or special a union, you get to equip an equip, uh, one from the deck. So you just pretty much equip in one with a different name. It's like that way on your following turn, you get mm -hmm. to um. What's it called? You get to like float into like Link Force. Mm -hmm. But what's also cool is when you equip to the machines, uh, each of them or each of the pieces have like the unaffected thing. It's like a monster equipped with C is unaffected by traps, B is spells, and A is monsters. So mm -hmm. B plays around Super Poly, this plays around like uh, evenly matched and also Floodgates too. So like if you equip uh, Buster with this, they just don't care about skill drain. And this is monster fix, so, like you don't care about any Floodgate monsters. Mm -hmm. So the cool thing is these can equip to. Um, almost anything and so pretty much what this card does is you get to target a machine you control a mm -hmm. from the, uh, union monster from the land of decks of that too and then the equipped monster can't be summoned so you just equip driver uh you equip union driver to any of your pieces mm -hmm. and then it's basically a two card hanger versus Wonder Beam. but you maximize on this because like I, these are the, actually the worst cards in your deck any abc list will tell you like these cards standalone are very bad to draw versus like these cards so you just want to maximize on these and like minimize on these but like you want to play twos because getting the follow-up on them is really good mm -hmm. and then uh i'll just throw right faithful draco back uh why wasn't this card like limited what the hell this card says get a token get a negate get a bounce like what um and there's no confliction with the abc cards which is really good i mean as long as you get to play them i'm sure we won't argue that Deal. That, that is true. I would have been sad if they like <laughs> banned him. For people like, like myself ah. who doesn't have those cards, I can argue. Whoever doesn't, yeah. But like, the, so what's cool is when you don't draw the Theorem King, this engine just works very well with ABC because none of your cards have effects that activate. Uh, so like, it's the same, it's a similar thing with Prank Kids, where it's just, well, mm, so they all activate in the grave. Like, are the effects you care about all activating in grave? Mm. Um, so there's that. And then, uh, so prosperity. Um, so the other thing I was testing was Magician Souls when we were playing DPE, um, because like you can go through two illusion, two souls, and then you can send your uh, pieces of souls to draw to you and get their effect. But the problem was like the draw to sometimes wasn't enough. Sometimes you like open really clunky and you just want to take six cards deep versus just like the two cards. Plus like drawing too many souls like was uh, was awkward without DPE. Like if you draw double souls, you can go like. Soul send card or send illusion, send a card, draw a card, and then normal make verte, like that was something, but you don't have it. So like this card just I feel like it's infinitely better. You don't have to necessarily play it. Uh, you can definitely get away with desires, but I just more, felt more comfortable with the prosperity. Mm -hmm. And then the other card is three droplet because you just get every single ABC effect. If you have it equipped, like and you're just like equipping a bunch of cards, you just go full oh, droplets and hangers and card, get an effect, get other effects, and then you just float into boss too. And like Broken. when you play against like the Therian board, like the Therian punk deck is like some crazy board. It's you just like droplet their Hulk and they just don't do anything. So like that's pretty good. Hmm. Uh, and then for the, uh, so there's a bunch of one ofs. Uh, so so this is a field spell deck. So like you play set rotation and then terraforming, like the Slavia. And then since I wanted just something, I wasn't really playing two of those. Like, you still, you actually need to play the game eventually. Having the one that you have like three copies of is not that bad. Um, and then Cell Rotation also has cool interactions with Draco back where you can just like bounce the field spell. So Cell Rotation becomes like a double search. So you can like activate the Therian field spell, add Kling, then you can activate right, bounce the, um, get the Draco back, bounce the Union Hanger, then activate the Union Hanger. Mm -hmm. like three of them. And then, uh, Call by, call by, call by foolish because you can foolish a piece. You can fool it. You can foolish a piece to get your theory engine going. You can foolish enchantress to get to your right stuff. And then called by is like this card also should have been banned, but like no one wants to talk about that. 
<laughs> and speaking of cards that shouldn't be banned, one change of heart. So it's probably not correct to moon this card at all, but it's fun. Um, you're playing a deck with a lot of generic like link twos and link threes, mm -hmm. and I think that's where you can capitalize on this card especially. Like versus a deck like Sword Soul, where you're syn you're synchro summoning, so like what you're stealing has to be the like the levels that work well. But like this card, I can literally just take anything and link with it, and it's really good. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, if anything, I probably sided it going second, but like, it's really just funny in the main deck. I'm still testing this, and this is like, this is just like a must negate going second. Like, it's awkward going first, but like, your turns two and threes and fours, like, well, this card will, if you draw, will be very good in this side. Mm -hmm. And that's the main deck. The it's a uh, 40, yeah, it's a uh, 45. That I don't think that's also correct, but like, I'm still debating on Change of Heart and Illegal Knight. Uh, without those two cards, the list would be 43, and I think that's very fun um, but these are just very good cards that have applications going second breaking of hard boards as mm -hmm. was going first creating disruption it's like that's where these cards like would shine um but i don't know i i'm still liking the 45 cards right now well, like, illegal and you know, searchable too no huh you can search illegal night right yeah you can switch the same thing as griffin you can just search out faithful mm -hmm. but like you'd rather like the only time i would ever switch this instead of griffin is if i already have the theory interpretation. but like you'd argue you'd rather switch griffin because that's too new. That's too omni needed to your phone has to get through as well as like your. Fair enough. Yeah. And then for the extra deck, I play three Buster. Weird. Um, <laughs> remember when Konami limited this card? I did. That was great. Um, yeah, you just always go into twos and threes. Like, there's certain turn ones where you can actually end on. And then the third one was just like a really good recovery. Um, but like, you really much just want to end on one, get your three pieces, and then you just make double to kill them the next turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then for the XYZs, I played Boguska and Gyrgyz next. This is Boguska is like the best card this format because like it just deals with Despy and Sorcel. Like if you go, um, there's a Link Monster in my extra deck that uh, the the Bujin Link Monster. This card's actually very good, but so you're using the combo, but like going second, you just instead of making this guy or instead of making this guy, you just make this guy, and then they can't break apart your board. And then you make Link Monsters and they die. Weird. <laughs> uh, GDX is a part of the combo. You pretty much just make the Bujin Link somewhere. And then um, the Bujin Link will summon one from your hand. I'll, I'll just show. Um, yeah, so the Bujin Link will summon a monster from your hand and you're great. And then immediately after XYZ summon. So you just make GDX, stretch another piece, and then link with the, the Bujin Link and something else. To make like, a barricade wall block you so you can check the piece. Or you can just like link with the GGX and something else to make like an IP, and then you have IP Platinum Gadget, um, Bujin Link, so you can make like Apalusa on their turn, Unicorn on their turn with the the, the Link Five. Mm -hmm. So also because of that Platinum Gadget, like this very combo, um, you summon a machine level four lower machine from your hand. So pretty much just like lets you get extra ABC pieces out of your hand with the GGX or Bujinka. So if you're making any rank fours, it's usually because of two, which is really good. <laughs> Uh, IP because it's part of your end combo. Mm -hmm. Um Barricade Ball Blocker. So this is like any two machine any two monsters with different names. Um so this is like really good with change of heart, but it's also a machine, so it works with like platinum gadget. Um because you can turn like him into him, which is really good, like eventually. But he has the effect you can discard a card. Um and during the end phase you get to add back a continuous spell or a field spell. So you get to pretty much add back any hangers, faithful adventures, or the theory and field spell. Or you can switch back Mystic and Leaf, like killing Mystic Mine. Mm -hmm. And then and also face up uh, field spells and continuous spells cannot be destroyed. Like your whole ogre, or uh, your hanger can't get like ogre, or your faithful can't get ogre when you make this first. So it's, it's pretty good. Um, it's also an extra attribute for your access code though. Um, then I played uh, Nightmare Phoenix, because it's just like generic link too. Mm -hmm. uh, Lina, the light charmer, because like your deck is all lights. Um, if you play against like Despia, you can steal like the Ecclesia. This card against Sword Soul is actually really good because you get to banish like their, you get to steal like their Chichao or their Chang Fang, which are cards they're gonna make knowing the matchup. Like once once they see an ABC card, they're always making Chao. So you can also steal their Bakia too, and then like kill the Lina to summon back one of your ABC pieces in play, or you kill one of your other cards. So like this card is actually very good against like Sword Soul. Um, Nightmare Unicorn because like Nightmare Unicorn uh, access code, they're motivating Appaloosa. Um, so like these cards, you actually don't want to summon on your turn. Um, you just use them with IP. So IP can pretty much summon uh, on your opponent's turn. Mm -hmm. uh, any of these three, or yeah, any of these three. 
So like you could you can also tag out Buster into the three pieces and then use IP and turn them on to your upper Uso. Or you could take one of your opponents and turn the underworld goddess. And mm -hmm. then you can also just make it into a unicorn and then just spin a card. Yeah. So like this deck's like wing climbing clicks you know, plays is just so good compared to like every other deck. Um yeah, the problem is just like the, your deck can is like not more inconsistent than the other other decks, but like it's more like breakable. Not breakable. It's more um breakable. Like mm -hmm. the ABC cards by themselves are pretty bad, but like any hand that consists of like a Union Hanger or an ABC piece plus unauthorized or like a Therian King plus Foolish, like and another ABC piece, you'll a you're able to play the game, which mm -hmm. is really good. Plus the deck is also really fun. Um, one of ABC is one of my favorite decks. I almost took ABC to my first YCS a couple years ago, mm. and like I just I just really enjoy playing this deck. Nice. That being said, I think after the YCS, because unfortunately I'm not taking this one to the YCS. I think after the YCS, this is the deck I'm gonna try and play a lot with and get well with because this deck is like, super fun. Like I'm also want to try like the build with like Jet Synchron because uh, mm -hmm. there's like combos with like Halk and stuff. And Jet Synchron is also a machine. It's like there's synergy there with like Platinum Gadget, and then you can also uh, discard pieces. So if you draw pieces, you can just chuck them off thing, and then you can also put like Tartoon Gear, which turn your pieces into tuners, and that just makes infinite Halk combos, and it just um. It's, it sounds like I'm getting excited to think it. <laughs> so that'd be the more uh, synchro heavy version, right? Yeah. It's like nice. the problem, like people wanted to deter away from the link version because they banned Verte, which is fair, right? Because like instead of making IP, your end board would be DPE, um, DPE, Buster, Therian, Adventure. Like that just sounds insane. Mm. But like now it's just like, all right, instead of that, it's IP. But like the monster you're summoning off IP are still like very good monsters. Like you're still summoning an unaffected guy, a auto spin or negate like three to four monsters. Like right. these cards are still like insane. It's just like DPE just seems like a lot better. Right. That being said, you could also just like play the fusion destiny. I have not tested any fusion destiny decks with um since the list. Like I was trying like Despia a little bit with like Fusion Destiny, but like Fusion Destiny is just bad in Despia anyway. So like you shouldn't like it wasn't gonna see play anywhere and then like i thought about it in like a uh like a uh like a variant of sword soul 2 like playing a uh, fusion destiny so mm -hmm. you can get like your glazy effect like honestly like i piece something any of these properties just so but um yeah i don't have a side deck for it like you can play like rivalries back row hate anti school for is also really good uh goes and matches also good in this deck because most of your pieces Big machine, so like that works well there, and like Nibiru hand traps, gammas, and uh, DD crows, ghost spells, mm -hmm. all all that stuff is also very good in this deck. You also play you play like good field spells, like you can play like a zombie world as an ender. It's like you can end with zombie world, and it's not it doesn't flick that much. Um, the problem is like your machines become zombies, so like it's kind of awkward, but you can do that as well. Mm -hmm. But all I mean, after you've established like, your board. Uh, yeah, like once you establish your board, like you zombie world, and like you just don't, you don't lose the thunder, you don't lose the sword soul, mm. you just like you just cherry like on top, game ender right yeah. there. Yeah, or even if you like go second, you just activate it, and they can't ever rise at you or avion you, <laughs> which means you get to normal summon, beat over the statue, and and like get to actually like play the game. Nice man. But yeah, so that is the May deck of the month. Um, we might see a, a, a potential other list coming up soon. We gotta see how how Hartford goes. Depend yeah, depending, yeah, depending on how it goes. Let me stop. There's no way I'm popping Hartford. But why, but, man? Come on, you gotta have faith in yourself. Yeah. Look, maybe I maybe I'll win a side event. <laughs> well, yeah, well so this is listen, listen. I have ABC. I have faith in you. Okay, take it from me. Thank you. Take God it, bless you. Take it from me. Uh, but thanks so much for uh, for coming on the channel once again, Rob. Every single month, it's just a pleasure. To go ahead and having you on, uh, having you uh, educate us essentially on a brand new deck each and every single month, man. I really again do appreciate you coming on board. Uh, do you have any uh, last minute advice for anyone looking to pick up this deck uh, moving down the line? Don't get like discouraged by. Well, one, I would actually pick up uh, this guy as soon as possible. Where, where, where is Regulus? I would buy this card as soon as possible. Because every time I read this card, it gets more insane. And when I read other Therian cards, I get more, like, this gets more insane. 
So if you want to play this deck, one, I try to get these as possible. But the other thing is like, don't be discouraged by like the deck feeling like inconsistent and weird. The deck always has been a deck where you can just like work. Um, that's just part of the ABCs, but like the pros of this deck is just so like worth it. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of fun. I think like I've been having more fun testing this deck than my actual deck for the last year. Like it, like if it wasn't because of wanting to play the most consistent deck, like I think like ever, um, <laughs> I would just play this or play like a variant of like Ethereum. But the deck is art, just like so fun. And like as if you enjoy like old Yu-Gi-Oh, if you like if you like play like 2016 a lot, it's so, like if you're like me and Sebastian, where we will do like a lot of decks, like our trick stars, our ABCs, our um, like our heroes, like definitely give this deck a try because it gives like a nice little modern ta uh, taste to the ABC deck. Right. Awesome. Thanks so much, man. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, go ahead and leave a like down below, comment down below how you guys are using Theorions, are you guys playing Theorion ABC? Theorion Sun Avalon is actually one that I've heard quite a bit about, so if you guys are playing that one, go ahead and let me know down below, and maybe we'll go ahead and get that prop for, for that as well. Uh, but again, if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe for more, and we'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.